today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress with two uh, crinoline by the shoulders. So guys, this is my fabric. The f I'm going to start with the top part. So this is what I'm using for the top. Um, basically, it's just my bust measurement divided by 4 plus, like extra. Um, my bust measurement is 10.5 plus extra 1.5 inch. So I have about um, 12 inches here. Because one inch is going to be my sizing, but I need half an inch by this part here for the v-neckline because I want to make it as a separate uh, piece. But if you want, you can just cut your v this way. But I want to cut mine separately so that then I join the two parts of the front together. You guys are going to see what I'm saying. So let's start with the front. This piece here is also my back panel. As you can see, I just use my front panel to cut the back as the same width. And then I added about extra one inch here or 1.5 inches is what I have at the back so guys to cut the, um, this here um, the length from the shoulder to the waist I have is about my shoulder to waist is 17 that's my half length so plus extra one inch which is 18 half an inch for the shoulder half an inch for the bottom part so now I'm going to insert my shoulder measurement the shoulder I'm working with is going to be 18, um, 16 divided by 2 is 8 but since this is a sleeveless I'm going to make it um, 7 I'm going to subtract one from it because that's someone was asking me the last time why do I always subtract one from the sleeveless is because you need you because whenever you take a measurement for the shoulder you always get to the top so that you can put in the sleeve right but once it's a sleeveless you always want to bring it inside let's say this is the, t the end of your shoulder you always want to bring it inside that's the point of being sleeveless because if you use exactly the same shoulder measurement then the it will look awkward because the sleeve is going to come up here and then there's no sleeve to meet it at the end that's why you always cut it short so it comes inside of your shoulder and then you have your, the edge of your shoulder here so now i'm going to mark the seven i'm going to come down here by one inch for the shoulder slope and then mark my armhole which is nine that's 18 divided by two nine then connect it this way give it a curve for my armhole and then down here by the waist guys you can mark this on the wrong side of your fabric but if you look at mine it's a little bit uh white so i decided to mark it on the right side so it's visible for the video so guys as you can see all the lines i'm marking i'm always keeping this edge this half an inch here because this here is just the seam allowance for the two piece in uh, for the front so now again i'm putting in my waist measurement which is 8.5 that's my waist divided by 4 is 8.5 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 mark that here and then two inches of seam allowance uh, seam allowance one inch of that in one inch of seam allowance then connect it to the bust i don't have to measure for the bust because the fabric is already folded with the bust measurement divided by four plus my seam allowances so guys now i'm going to go ahead and mark three inches of neckline and then connect this shoulder slope this way and then the next thing you have to do now is if you're just if you don't want to add extra seam allowance here um so that you can be able to join it all you have to do is just to mark your the v where you want it to stop so for me um i'm going to mark about let's say i use because if you look at the picture you'll notice her own is very deep so i'm going to use about 12.5 down here and then connect it this way but then i'm going to split it into two um, and then you see i have half an inch here that i already uh, made for my um to join it back together right and then before that i'm also going to mark my dart so this is going to be my dart. Let me mark that. So my dart is going to be nipple to nipple measurement divided by two is four. But I'm going to add extra half an inch to it because of the dart. So mark half an inch on both sides. My dart will stop one inch before my chest line. My chest line is somewhere here at 11. So my dart is going to stop one inch before that, which is at 12. So somewhere here is where my dart will be. So guys, this is it basically for my um, for my front. All I have to do is to go ahead and dart this part here, like this. Just give it a dart this way. But then let's cut out the neckline so you guys can see. Guys, like I said, you can come down a little bit more since the crinoline is going to be covering it up. You can leave just about five inches here or four inches. It depends on you. Let me see what I have left. 
so i have about six inches but remember half an inch is going to enter as my seam allowance at the lower part and half an inch is going to be when i'm turning up this part with lining so that means i'm left with five inches guys you can make yours if you don't want to show cleavage at all you can bring it up a little bit more so mine this is what i have left here so i'm going to split it open so that i can show you guys the reason i'm doing it this way is because i'm going to be turning this with lining and i want this v to relax better so i feel like it relax better when i do it this way so all i have to do now is to go to my sewing machine let me notch my dart so that you guys will see notch this dart so that all i have to do is just to go to the sewing machine now join these two center parts together with this half an inch this way and then use my lining to turn it over right so once i join it back again i have my v-neck but i'm going to use my lining to flip this inside out so and then also put my dart on the two sides like this so now using this front panel let's cut the back panel so guys you see what i did here for the front i folded away the half an inch for the center front because this is my v-neck and then place it at the very edge where i have my seam allowance right you see my seam allowance all the way to the top so now all i have to do is from the tip of this shoulder i'm going to come down here by about 1.5 or one inch just for the back neckline but it depends on you guys if you want you can also give it the same v in front and at the back so guys um uh, since i don't know what the back of this looks like if you want you can do it, make yours this way and then your zip goes up to the back but i don't know how that would look so i think um okay see i'm also cutting the shoulder slope now so let me just cut that off so that we know what to do with the neckline first so guys you see i also cut the back maintaining the same to make it fit better to me i'm going to bring down my own neckline a little bit at the back but i'm not going to bring it down so much that the bra strap will be showing so let's say i do about maybe 10 inches or 9 inches from the back so i'm going to just bring it down following the same line as the front so this is okay for me somewhere here is okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so guys this is what we are working with um the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut two lining for the front because the front remember it has two pieces and then two lining for the back so i'm going to cut that and show you guys so now we are going to move over to the skirt part so guys the, this bottom part now what i have here is um, for the skirt the length i'm using i want the skirt to be 20 inches when i'm done so what i have here is about 22 just because i need about one inch to fold the edge or one and a half to fold the edge and half an inch to join it to the but to the top part so to meet up to this part so now what i did here is to come down from my waist to the hip which is 10 inches mark that line and then i'm going to insert my waist measurement here divided by four so 34 divided by four is 8.5 mark that here and then add two inches for my darting and seam allowance then now i'm going to connect the waist to the um, hip so guys after that here is just my hip measurement divided by four which is 48 divided by 4 13 and um, 12 plus one inch of sewing side seam is 13 so down here i'm going to subtract one from the edge here because it's a pencil sketch right so i'm going to remove one here and then bring down this line to connect to this part so guys now all i have to do is to cut out this excess all the way to the top and then i'm also going to insert my darts like i used for the top part which was um nipple to nipple divided by two four which is four plus extra half an inch and then i'm going to mark that and then bring down my dart. my dart here is going to stop um two inches before my hip line so that means my dart is going to be about eight inches length so i'm going to mark that here and then mark half an inch on both sides and bring it down so this that i'm going to transfer it all the four layers of this skirt so let me notch it here and then i'm also going to separate the back as you can see i also have my seam allowance here extra for the back because there's going to be a zip so guys this is it here so i have my skirt all i have to do is to dart the two front sides and join the side seam and the back 
together so guys you see i've separated the back there's two pieces at the back and one piece for the front you see there's a fold here so guys now that i have my back panel let me show you guys what else you have to do remember this dart that you have in front is going to be the same dart at the back except this time for the back is going to extend all the way to the chest line somewhere here at the back so but in front is going to stop if, um one inch before your um chest line somewhere here your bust line sorry so that's where mine is so for the back now and um, i'm going to mark it just so i know the particular point where it is so for the back the same thing i'm going to extend this that all the way to this point so guys this is the two of them the back and the front i've traced out the lining you see two piece of each of them and then the cloth is also two piece each so i'm going to join the top together first the front panel together the main that's this main cloth together pick the dart and then join it by the center do the same thing on the lining before turning it over so i'm going to show you guys how i do that too so here i've gone ahead now and join the lining so guys you see what i was saying cut exactly the same and then join your two front pieces together and then just sew the neckline together this way cut off the excess and then also close up the armhole so with this now i've, I've finished the armhole i've finished the neckline so all i have to do is just to put my hand in here and flip this inside out so you see my fabric is on the other side the lining is on one side you see the shoulder part the shoulder part here so i'm going to flip this inside here so guys this is it here all i have to do now is to go back in and iron it so that once i iron it i can pick my dart if you want you can pick your dart before doing that so if you're doing it if you're picking the dart before turning it over then you have to also pick the dart separately on the fabric separate on the lining not joining it together but now that i've done this i want to iron mine and then pick the dart together so i want to just fold it this way and then it put my dart here so guys now i've picked my darts finished up the body of the dress so now guys all i have to do is to attach my crenoline it depends on you how you want to attach yours so i'm going to just take one this way the width i have here is just my bust measurement plus like extra two inches because extra two to three inches because i'm going to um i'm going to pleat it when i get to this bust part this uh this that part so i'm going to like pleat it a little and then i want it to also extend into the opposite side and then the same thing for the other side i have two for the front two for the back so i want it to go across the other side by like two inches or so so the two of them are going to be in front this way the same thing for the back and, and then the length i have here is about it depends on you you can make yours longer but the length i have here is about 30 inches or so I'm just going to take this here sew it down as you can see i've closed up the side so the the two sides of this crenoline is going to be open and i'm going to attach it in front and at the back so guys you can see i've attached it two piece in front two piece at the back so two in front two at the back so i just sewed it on top of it so now i'm going to take the skirt part and attach it so you see how it is right now i'm going to attach the skirt part to the bottom this is what the skirt looks like so I've already made it into a pencil skirt so I'm going to attach it to the bottom part here so guys this is it here I finished it and all you have to do now is on the shoulder you tie the crenoline on one side just tie it however you want to tie it if you want you can pull everything to one side and then leave one side free like this and then tie both of them to one side like this so you take the two piece in front and then the two piece at the back and move it over to one side this way and leave this side like this it depends on you what you want to do with it so i've attached it now so guys look at the back of my own you see this is the zip so i insert my zip here i used like 16 inches zip here so this is it you see how the back is so you are going to avoid sewing this crinoline into your zipper allowance because you don't want it sewn into that place you want to have some um like leave the zipper allowance and then so end before that so guys see the bottom of the dress here all i have to do now is just to fold the edge and the dress is done thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye